Imagine this. You walk up to a game booth. The rules are simple. Flip a coin. If you get heads immediately, you win $2. If you get tails, you flip again. And if heads now, you win $4. Keep flipping and the prize keeps doubling. $8, 16, 32, and beyond. Sounds like a dream, right? Here's the twist. Mathematically, the expected value of this game is infinite. And yet, if I asked you how much you'd pay to play, you probably wouldn't offer more than 20 or 30 bucks. This strange contradiction is called the Saint Petersburg Paradox. Let's break it down. With each flip, your chance of winning halves, but your prize doubles. You have a 50% chance to win $2, a 25% chance to win $4, a 12.5% chance to win $8, and so on. When you add it all up, the expected winnings keep growing without limit. Infinite expected value. So why doesn't anyone bet their life savings to play? Now you might wonder, why is it called the St. Petersburg Paradox? In the early 1700s, the Bernoulli family was deeply involved in mathematical discussions across Europe. Daniel Bernoulli, one of the greatest mathematicians of his time, lived and worked in St. Petersburg, Petersburg, Russia, where he served at the Imperial Academy of Sciences. It was in St. Petersburg that Daniel published his famous 1738 paper, Solving the Paradox. And so the paradox was named after the city where his ideas took shape. So who was Daniel Bernoulli? Daniel was a proud member of the Bernoulli family, a dynasty of brilliant Swiss mathematicians that included his father, Johann Bernoulli, and his uncle, Jacob Bernoulli. The paradox itself was first posed by his cousin, Nicholas Bernoulli, around 1713. But it was Daniel who provided the lasting solution that changed how we think about risk and wealth. Daniel Bernoulli's breakthrough was simple yet profound. We don't value money in a straight line. Winning $100 when you're poor feels life-changing. Winning another $100 when you're already rich? Hardly noticeable. Daniel introduced the concept of utility a mathematical way to capture how the same amount of money feels different depending on your situation. In his model, the more wealth you have, the smaller the happiness boost each additional dollar gives you. And this insight shapes your everyday life even today. You buy insurance to avoid devastating losses, not because it's a good bet mathematically, but because the peace of mind is worth the cost. You choose steady jobs over risky ventures, because safety feels better than uncertain riches. You might even avoid stock market risks because the pain of losing feels worse than the joy of gaining. In short, you are a utility maximizer, not a simple dollar maximizer. The St. Petersburg paradox isn't just an old mathematical curiosity. It's a powerful window into how real humans, not idealized models, think about money, risk, and happiness. Understanding it helps you make smarter, wiser choices. Because at the end of the day, it's not about maximizing winnings. It's about maximizing wisdom. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more stories where math meets life.